This is basically, you tore the tendon, when the tendon heals itself, it calcifies it. Oh, wow. Okay, now let's not die. Oh, round and around. It's not as bad as a COVID test. <laughs> oh. The auction is done, but we saved six horses and we're about to get them haltered and get them on the trailer and head home. It's snowing out, so fingers crossed this is a safe drive. Hey guys! Good. There you go, honey. Alright, everybody ready? Let's get going, guys. All right, guys. Let's get going. Good. There you go. All right, ladies, your turn. Stretch, love. There you go. Good job. There we go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Girl. We're gonna grab this guy, and then we'll grab the last paint mare, and be on our way back to the shelter. Busting out. All right, Kaya's got this lady here. Last two and we're homebound. Let's get out of here, kids. Oh, careful, dear. Got it, buddy. Oh, boy. Yes, a friend. She's walking on. <laughs> Good there. Oh, get up there. Sorry, I had a all right, we're headed back to the shelter. We got all, and the, paperwork. This, got all the paperwork and this nasty weather. We're heading back. It's cold. Thanks, guys. We got six of another organization that got three, um, and I don't think the bad guys got any. Thank you. We are back at the rescue. It is snowing. It's not as windy as it was, but we're going to get these guys unloaded and get them into their pasture for the night. Hi, honey. Careful. Careful, careful. Careful. There you go. Come on, baby. You can do it. That's a girl. You can do it. Come in. Good. There you go. Sorry for the junky weather, guys. It was coming to you either way. Back for the others. Honey, careful. Oh, okay. We got it. We got it. You got it. Good job. Now go around. <laughs> She's like, I'll go right through it. There you go. There. Go with your friend, honey. Oh, I suppose I have my flash on. <laughs> 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 we 
We weren't expecting this. <laughs> no, this is... And I look dumb with my hat on, so I took it off. <laughs> We're good. Careful, careful. Whoop. There you go. Step. Step. You got it. Buddy. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh boy. Dang it, the latch freezed over on us. No. There you guys go. Settle in for the night, okay? There we go. Today we have Dr. Dave Pillman out here. Um, he's gonna try to get us on a weekly schedule where, where he'll be out here each Monday. Um, rarely a week goes by that we don't need some sort of bed evaluation and with Krista being further away, it makes it very difficult for her to get here too often. Uh, some of you might recognize Dave. He was with us a few years back. He then moved on to a different clinic, so we still, we've been in communication and stuff with him. Um, but now he's going to be coming out pretty much weekly, and today he's just going to take a look at a couple horses and um, some x-rays, and we're excited to introduce you all to him. So Fern was a recent uh, owner return. She was adopted out a couple of years back, and they brought her back due to her not being able to keep up on their trail rides anymore, um, not being able to extend her back leg as far as they were hoping. They got some x-rays done, thought they had seen a problem going on, so they had returned her to us. So basically what we have is this is an old tear of that flap tip tendon. Uh, so this is calcification gotcha. of the okay. superficial. So you can actually see them both, superficial okay. and deep. Okay. So this would be an interesting horse to drop an ultrasound on and to look at that tendon itself via ultrasound because this is an old soft tissue injury. So when did it happen? I don't know, but um, it, it's, you know, from what I'm seeing is that I don't think these are like an avulsion fracture where we have a bone chipped off. This is basically you tore the tendon when the tendon heals itself it calcifies in mm -hmm. and so that's an old um and you can see it's actually kind of a cool view because you can see on the lateral that's why when you get them overlaid it doesn't in, so when they did a um they did obliques three different obliques you can't see it as well because you can't see the two because the tendons are over top of each other but when you're a direct lateral like this one is um you can actually see um the superficial deep digital flexor tendon both have been torn, both have scarred and repaired, but that old scarring is showing up in the x-ray. And that's going to limit her... 100%. Her motion. Yeah, and so basically what you're going to do is it's just not going to be able to have the flexion and extension, mostly flexion, of course, with that, but it's still going to stiffen and affect the extension as well. So a little difficulty moving. We're going to be slow. We're going to be a little bit... Not saying we can't be sound, but it's like if you tear a tendon, you tear your Achilles. It's, you know, basically I equate it to tearing the Achilles, except mm -hmm. in a horse, they walk on their tiptoes. And it's torn and calcified on both. So how is she, like, pain-wise? Most of the time, if they heal, they don't, I don't think they're chronically painful, unless they look, you know, unsound and severely lame. But it's like an old injury like that is never going to be, uh, athlete, and a, a, you know, fast mover. Right. But as far as quality of life, I'm sure when it first tore, it was very painful. But as they age, it becomes calcified. The signs of arthritic changes is what we're seeing here. And so that calcification is going to limit movement. You know, you could get injections into the tendon sheath to help with pain. So sometimes you will do like a steroid injection in there if they seem painful. Mm -hmm. um, so I have done those injections before, but for me, I wouldn't do it unless she seems unsound for some reason. Yeah. If she's just moving slow, I'm like, well, you got an old torn tendon. She can be a trail horse, but she isn't going to be a speed demon. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Perfect. And we're going to ultrasound her tendons here, too, just to see where. Oh. I'm sure I can see that x-ray or that injury fairly well on ultrasound. 
All right, let's see her move here quick. We'll, get, we'll just do straight line for now. Good girl. Because honestly, I notice nothing in her gait. Yeah, she lunges. She's completely in normal. Sound. And the other thing that I just noticed here, and again, on there it looked like you could see that separate superficial and deep flexor tendon. Here she has a chestnut right at that location. So I'm wondering if we're seeing the chestnut instead of the tendon. Oh. Instead of the tendon. So I'm thinking it might be non pathogenic. But we'll ultrasound it and maybe see. Did maybe you find any? Better. No, and it looks solid the whole way. So I'm wondering if that might be just the chestnut we're seeing overlaying that. Let's try to pull out the X-ray machine. So we could shoot another one if you wanna. Is she pregnant? No. Oh. You're okay, friend. We're gonna get her X-rays here like for Dr. Pillman. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that's your chestnut because it looks totally different now. Yeah. So he wanted a DP also. I think it's all right. Now we'll do the other one. 100% it's the chestnut. I'm pretty sure it's chestnut. I think we're completely sound as far as x-rays and physical exam goes. Or blame this exam. Like watching her walk. That's the right one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As soon as I felt her, I'm like, wow, there's a chestnut right there. <laughs> I, I figured that had to be what we were seeing. It's nothing that's... A problem. <laughs> Not that every horse has a chestnut right there, but she does. Mm -hmm. no, the so she does isn't good. gonna have that hot joint looks good. No, she should be kind. So no, I, be I would kind just work does. with her and train her. Now the other thing that could be, you know, would be respiratory issues or cardiovascular system. I listen to her heart and lungs, it sounds completely normal. Um, so but she's obese right she's kind of heavy. Yeah, yeah she's she a is. little heavy. And so, you know, maybe she just needs to get worked into the longer rides and not just thrown in and taken on, you know, go from zero to 20 miles. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's probably kind of, know she was doing no, that. That's kind yeah. of I, I don't know. We would all agree with, but the doctor <laughs> seems to think otherwise. So, so here we are. Like I said, <laughs> it looked weird in that one view, but now that I felt the chestnut and I saw the horse, that's what it was all along. Yeah. An x-ray and ultrasound look completely normal. Yeah. So. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, so here first, we're going to take a peek at River. So here would just be where you can just tap on the ones you want to okay. see okay. and zoom and do whatever you'd like. And did he ever get blocks or anything to determine where lameness was or you just... No, the main thing with his, him is his joints are huge. And he's only a year old. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one knee is really big. Breed? Trap. Trap. Okay. okay. Maybe, maybe you want to just pull them in so you can actually look at them. Oh, there's some for sure changes in this joint. And this is when we were still kind of learning to use the x-ray machine, so bear with her photos. That's the left, is this the right? Yes. So the left looks better than the right, or the right looks better than the left. And the one hack was really big, but we didn't really see anything. But we're not that, so. Yeah. Well, and that looks again like a chestnut, I'd be guessing. Okay. Yeah. 
This is good to know, like the bullet hole. That's the just a blood hole. vessel. Yeah. yeah. Looks very normal. She said this was this hot. This was where I think we're a little more concerned with the one leg because it kind of looks like it's starting to get a little screwy. Those are the sesamoid bones there, right? Yep. Yeah. These are normal sesamoid. This is going to be your nutrium foramen. The bullet hole. The yeah. bullet hole. <laughs> yes. So the only real thing that I saw, and I'll take a look at them, is here in this right leg. Did you see this right here? Mm-hmm. He's got arthritic changes, which is really yeah. weird for a young horse. So basically you're seeing inflammation. So basically I say arthritis is a kind of chronic inflammation, whether torn ligament, injury, something there. Um, and right here, he has some changes, arthritic changes in his joint, um, which, what does that tell me? Well, he probably had some sort of injury. Mm -hmm. um, this is still closure of a growth plane. So this is okay. the physis right here. That's what I figured. Um, he's a, you know, young horse. His physis is going to be way more visible than an old horse. But right here, there's no physis. There's no changes. To me, he badly sprained or damaged this joint and you're already seeing arthritic changes right there um in, in the joint itself oh you are big yes. i love drafts you're good. almost as big as my girl i think you are about as big other than you're you're still gangly colt because you got that high back end oh yeah that front right is uh, yeah 100% that swollen. Can I have you walk, buddy? Come on. Well, you got big chompers, don't you? Big clompers. What I always caution people is, you know, some of this could be even growth-related change. So you will get some swelling, but that arthritic change is not. He, this horse damaged his knee with guts twisted as a baby, stepped on something. Now, to me, he's not struggling to say, I don't want to put weight on that foot. So I guess if for me, quality of life, I think get his feet trimmed up. Because he's horribly uneven, yep. obviously. Exactly. Get his feet trimmed up. I don't think he's ever going to be a pulling horse, hard working horse, but do I think it can be a, a sound horse that someone could trail pleasure ride and put pull, you know, a small cart or something like that? I think so. Now, two things. One for pulling, you know, a lot of strength is gonna come from the back end and the front, but I would say, you know, he'll never be a competitive pulling horse. <laughs> but if it was me, I, I'd have no reason to say he isn't, he has poor quality of life right now. Even though he's gonna get much larger and that's going yeah. to be a lot more weight than that joint. It's hard to predict how that's going to change it, you know? He's also going to grow up. His knees are knobby because he's a baby still, partially, because all babies have knobby knees. So all I'm saying is, yes, that knee is bigger. It is a problem. You can see the changes in that joint. But at the same time, does it mean he's not going to have... Does he pick that up? Did we ever do a suction test on him? Do you remember? I think it? originally we did. Hey, I don't remember. Will you lift your feet? Can you lift your feet? There you go, good boy. You look nice. Boy, he's got full flexion. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. Doesn't hurt him to pick up. You know, I always tell people, my knee looks way worse than that on x-ray, and I have a decent quality of life. <laughs> I think he can have it. It's just going to be that tempered uh, expectation of he's not going to be a... He's not going to go become a professional pulling horse. He's not going to probably go work and plow fields for, for a trail horse that has, you know, a relatively light person because any person is going to be light for him. Right. And, you know, if you could break him for riding, uh, for someone who's not taking him on long, you know, rides or climbing mountains to pull elk down, um, or, you know, a, a, a light cart horse or part of a team, right. I think he could work. There's no reason why I don't think he can be a good horse for someone, as long as they have decent expectations. That, okay. that right leg could flare up, cause issues. He may need injections. He may be, need to be on Equiox if it causes a problem, but. Hi, how are you? You're all right, girl. Good boy. 
101.3. So, eh, low grade fever. Nothing crazy. Did you think the lymph nodes were maybe a little swollen? A little bit. Probably under her jaw. And... I really don't think strangles for sure, right. meaning they're not big enough for me to say a strangled horse. Yeah. They're not abscessing. Just like keeping it um, or anything. Yeah, bad old ulcer in her eye, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like it's healed. It's an old one. Say mildly enlarged, but not big enough for me to call it strangles. Really, to diagnose strangles, you gotta you know do t test for equi equi to be 100 percent sure. I'd just say upper respiratory, not strangles. So should we start on anything? Or? I would cause you got some sulfa. Mm -hmm. I'd probably do some sulfa, okay. especially with the weather and the change that she's had. I think 100 percent sulfa is the right choice. So last time Polly was here, he put shoes and pads on Teo, and now Teo's got some pretty bad thrush, so we'll see what we've uh, got to do from here. Yeah, he's got some really deep sulcus thrush. I mean, it's it's right up in there. So we'll probably we can either put the shoes back on without the pads or leave him barefoot. Um, I mean, he did good with the shoes on, right? Till from the sounds of it, yeah, he was sound. Okay. Um. Well, let's see what this. Let's see what this wall looks like. That was our biggest concern. Yeah, he's got it pretty damn bad. Yeah, I can smell it. Well, let's, uh... Let's let that clear up. And then we'll put them back on in, like, two weeks. Okay. We'll pull the other one too and just leave them deep enough? Yeah, I'm just... I know if we put those shoes back on, we're gonna hit the same holes and they ain't gonna stay on. Um... And we'll just put them on. We won't. It won't cost anything. We'll just put them back on. But yeah, he's got that thrush way up in that sulcus. And it's, yeah. it's bad. It's a rough one. It's probably the worst I've seen in a while. So now we're gonna do Kit, Mr. Kit or Cat. Get his feet all trimmed up. Good boy. Booty. Look at that booty. Gaining weight. Yeah, he looks real good. Compared to the first day. How's that looking? Dead. So that's that's good then. Anything on him? No, the, the abscess on the left hind is gone. I mean, the tissue underneath is growing through. He's growing a sole again, and it's actually come a long ways, so there's hope. Perfect. So she had an abscess that squirted out quite a ways. Um, 
Sounds like she's going to be staying in. But here's what it looked like after it cleaned out. I mean, here's your, right there's your pocket, your root of it. I mean, it undermined all that out. And then on top of it, started digging more. And I was like, why does this feel like there's fluid under here? It was a pocket on top of a pocket. So she had two. Ouch, that's why you're so ouchy. Yes. So. Oh, Libby girl. Sounds like your mom wants to leave her in for now. Okay. Um, maybe put the shoes back on for support. Otherwise she's gonna be worse than she was. She's at least putting weight on it now. After it opened it up and it was like, you could feel it soft and opened it up and all of a sudden it was just, but not like that, it was like, yeah. So there was a lot of pressure behind it, which would explain why she was extremely tender. Yeah, definitely. So. Up next, we're gonna do Happy. She just needs a basic trim. Are you sassy or happy? <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing on the inside to trim because everything's pushed out to the side, but yeah. all that growth went. Phew. So we got Luxor inside. I'm gonna see if he'll go in the stock here. <laughs> you can't. Very nervous boy. You're all right, buddy. Something so bad is gonna happen to him. Yeah. He's been through it, the poor guy. Yeah, and when we got him, he was all tore up. With yeah. Him, all over him, all up and down his back legs. Kid broke for sale, not on sale. I know what I have. <laughs> I guess if I need a bucking horse, I know where to come. Spicy. No, he's just afraid of everything. Yeah, he has a Yeah. I was expecting that to come flying back. No hop out of there so you don't get killed. Okay, now let's not die. Mm. 
Gotta hold it and then you gotta go. We ain't done yet. Still could be. So up next we're gonna do magic. See what we got going on here. I think he needs shoes. Mm -hmm. So no shoes again for her today. We got, I like the way the lamina was starting to, I don't know, shrivel up in a sense after we trimmed it back last time from all that stretching. And then, um, I mean, I can show you here the difference when we get done. Corrective, <coughs> corrective trimming and shoeing is never pretty, but that's quite a difference. So this is Monticello. He's a new owner surrender. He's an eight-year-old thoroughbred, and they said he's off in his right front. Something about pedalostitis, I think is how you pronounce it. But um, Polly's here today, so he wants to get those shoes pulled off right away. So we'll get that done, and then we'll have him see the vet and go from there. So we are going to do x-rays on Monticello here. Pedalo osteitis. Osteitis. <laughs> I'd say it right at some point. Horrible angles. I do not see any. Go back to the other one. Like, well, we can do them side by side, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, bad yeah. angles for sure, but... I'll check out the fetlock back there. I'm going to take a peek at that fetlock back there. Get an x-ray of it. It looks kind of big. Looks like a fetlock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks fine to me. So, Polly was here today uh, doing the fencing like he said he would do, and he did a couple trims. Um, and then we had this new guy come in. And kind of right away, it's kind of like at least get these shoes off. Oh, wow. Could have been, could have been about a size bigger. Like a homemade rocker toe for the breakover. But I don't know, I guess if it's... And looking at those x-rays, like why would they do that? Right. I mean, I can I can see the concept of the breakover of like a rocker toe shoe or like a the natural balance shoe like um, Raphael had. Mm -hmm. um, and he did great in them. Squaring up the toe on this shoe, but I just don't like how spread this is over here. But I I don't know. It's I, I don't know. I don't know the barn, so I'd have to see why. But I mean, we do a lot of. English horses, and I've never seen one done like that, or had to do one like that, so I don't know. Perhaps those heels are in the back. I mean, they're just gone. 
and I, and honestly, I mean these. I've done it because sometimes you have to. But these hard plastic wedges, um, you know, they can collapse the heel more. That's why I like those silicone ones because they're softer. But I mean, I mean, look at this, Cindy. The the wedge is pretty far back, and it's really it's starting to collapse into the bulb even. So they've been on there a while. Well, since September 23rd, you know that. So we're going on three months. I know, it gives me anxiety. Seriously. So how do you know they're the wrong kind of thing? Just by judging how the head sits into the, um, the crease. It's too small. Like it's too small of a nail. What is that mess? That's all sole. I'm near an inch worth. Yeah. That stinks. I mean, I'm just confused on why. For one, that shoe, <laughs> got, you got your money's worth. It's like a razor on the edge. Granted, it's been on there three months. I mean, I don't know. His feet. A shit ton of false sole. Because they never took any sole out. might work on just get a molasses lick and let him founder. Look at how. So we like, can't even put shoes back on him right now. I mean, we could, but uh, it's going to be. Okay, that's why you use the right size nail, you wreck the hoof wall. I'll get some shoes ordered for him, the right ones, and then we'll... Yeah. He might need more than a one degree wedge, though. <laughs> ...that they don't make. I seen one time, I seen a guy was putting wedges on drafts, and it's not advised because it's too much change at once, but he took two four degree wedges and put them together to get the horse from this to this. And he said he was, he was so set back on his bulbs that like he was like bleeding, like they were raw. And he got him up and he said, in theory, that would cripple your horse. But he said that horse felt so good because he was actually up. Don't stand there. <laughs> See that now? Pine tar in his foot. You smell it? It's pine tar. That's not pine tar. That's ooh. That's ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see that. Like, I don't know why. Yeah. That one, so I wonder if it hurts. That was the one he didn't want to stand on. Didn't we x rayed the pet lock? Right he keeps it. Is it just because he's so far? It could be. How about jazz? Do you like jazz? <laughs> God, this Easy. Wow. 
after a trim. That looks okay for with the shoe off and a trim how he's standing versus that one even. Yeah, that one. Don't bite. He's not gonna bite. He just goes like this with his muzzle. Oh, are you spoiled? Yeah. He's yeah, I bet you were. I mean, you see, like the that's a lot better than. <laughs> It's not what I want to see, but it's... Quit. No. Oh. Not yet. That's not even a lot. What is? Bruised lamina. It is. Okay. Which foot was this off of? It was laying over there. That's the hind. So far, three of the four have been bruised. They're gonna be just so long. They're so long in the tension and stretching, improper balance. I mean, what's this horse's name? Monticello. Monticello. He made that poor horse suffer and took his sweet time pulling that shoe. Just let the horse kick you. Well, for how long they've been on there, it probably felt like that. Luckily, you're long enough. That should trim out. <laughs> All right, fella. Technically, you're three quarters of the way done. This is the easy part. Barrier with a twitch, so every time he gets his feet touched, he's head bobbing to get away from a twitch. <laughs> Does he? Put him back. Not as bad, but. Okay. Well, and you would almost think with it being so long since he got trimmed, there'd be more to cut off. But you were you just kind of trying to start even things out a little bit? Take too much at once. And if we do put shoes back on, we got something to play with. Because he's already sore. Yeah. And his everything is so brittle. His hoof wall, his sole. Supplement would be anything is better than nothing. So Dr. Kristen is here today. She's going to take a peek at the new auction horses. Um, the quarantine barn is still in construction, but we're going to try and use it as best as possible because it's cold. The sun's out, but it's still cold. So this is, oh, now the sun's blinding me. So this is Satir. Your leg is awful big, honey. Um, S A T I R. The her left hind like this? Yeah, she's really stuck. Yeah, she is. Hi, sweetie. Is your is that your friend out there? Because it's another paint. I know. Avoid the two by fours. We're good. Hey, hey, hey. Can I see that eye? Oh, is that an ulcer? Just a cataract. Oh. See that? It, it's a really good view of it with the sun. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Yeah, I Stop know. Please. You don't wanna. You don't wanna, do ya? She could be just hitting 20. She might not be 23. Okay. You're pretty thin, though. That the head toss thing, right? What's that? A little girl riding her through. She's the one that they had the saddle on. That. Yeah. Okay. I think I saw some pictures. So. I was sad they let her go for so cheap. Your foot's awful crooked here. What you got going on? Holly can fix you up, hopefully. Yeah, she kind of is funny on her front feet. This 
Like yeah, she sort of rolls like she's walking more on the outside. She's worn the outside more than the inside, so. She doesn't seem real stiff or anything, though. Huh? All right, kid, I'm going to take your temperature and then I'm going to take a closer look at that leg. Because I don't know if you got a view from the back on that. I don't know that. Well, we'll get her tail out of your way, then you can really see it. Huh? Hey. It's so, oh, oh yeah, there. I didn't, I did pinch it. There's some pitting edema. I wanted, and it's funny though, because her pastern looks okay. Can you, if you kick at me one more time, we're not going to play this game. Oh, maybe it is a little thick down there. Okay, yeah, let me see. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, hey, it's all right. A little dermatitis back here, but it shouldn't make her that swollen. Hi, sweetie. I think we're going to do a round of antibiotic because of the amount of edema. Because when I, when I pinch it, it actually holds that little thumbprint. I wonder if she, if she pulled something. She should be a lot more sore. Okay. But that's why we're going to do a round of antibiotic. And I'm going to take... You're gonna, oh, you're going to poop in our pretty... Good job. Yeah, there's some dermatitis, like some of those scratches, but... Sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, symbol. You're blocking the view. Yeah. You're cute, though. There's another coffer. I don't know who that was. Let's hope that it's just a skin deal, so we'll put her on that Uniprim and Banamine and get that to come down. And I, if I have some Ferrosamide, I'll leave some of that, too, with you guys. I don't think we've used that yet for these guys with the edema. Okay. All right. Holding still is hard to do. Hey, 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 hey. No, it is. We can use the shoe. Hmm. Yeah, we could put her... She's just not going to hold still, I think. I don't want her to hurt herself. Behave yourself. Too old. Well, right, you should know better. <laughs> Hi. Hey. What are we gonna get tired of the post, maybe? She does cry. Come here. Hi. Don't you know what we're up to? Or is that the problem? It's not that serious, Miss Francis. Don't bite. Uh -uh. How'd that feel? Hmm? You bonked your nose. Don't. Jeez. You are naughty. And around and around we go. Now you're up tight. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now you're stuck. She says, watch me go back oh, then. Jeez. You know, she was a forward a second ago. Yeah. How about, I got to look at your other corner incisor, so you're an old, <laughs> old lady. Yeah. I'm going to take a listen, okay? It's going to be all right. Like the mule supporting you. You're the help. Easy. Hey. Oh, hey. Calm down. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Okay, you can see all your friends with your one good eye. You're a little riled up, sweetheart. I'll try one time to take your temperature, but I'm not pushing it. Hey. She's got her eye issue over here, so. Hi. Obviously, we're going to have some blindness out of the right eye. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think she's a little bit, at least from the one tooth that she let me look at, I think she's a little higher than 20. But, um. Later 20. Yeah. Yeah, mid, at least mid. And of course, we got that right eye issue that she doesn't really want me to even touch. Can't even Hi. Look at it. Yeah, she said, You're not allowed to see it. You're just like, what was the mare we looked at first thing? Josie. Josie, yeah. Hey. You are naughty. We'll just have to monitor that and decide if it comes out too. You're coughing. I want to see what's going on. This is Kazoo. Kazoo. Oh, it, I thought you were just joking about the cough. I'm not dealing with that right now. No? No. 
she's supposed to. She'll be. settle down. She can't be crazy forever. No, I was, <laughs> and I wasn't even gonna touch her feet or anything. She's, she's supposed to be twenty-two. Twenty-two. Hi. You seem a little bit quieter. <coughs> oh. oh my goodness! I feel like I need to pat your back. One thing would always object, especially with the auction horses, was their little phones. Okay. We do have one of the mares with pretty large lymph nodes right now, and a lot of discharging coughing as well. Okay. So, hey, hey, I don't know hey, if hey. something's getting passed around. Yeah. <coughs> initially, I can't say he was like this. <coughs> no, no, he's he got. Not. And he wasn't the other two days when I've been down here. Unless either. you got something <coughs> stuck in your throat. Something kind of perked up too. <coughs> yeah. Have you seen him like drinking and stuff? I mean, he was just eating. eating. Yeah. Just yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure we're not getting a choke or something. Did you get a good look at his teeth? Yeah, it looks like he could be in excess of 20. Okay. So. Watch him not cough while I'm listening. I mean, I'm not hearing anything exciting. Somebody might have to touch his mouth and make him cough. Hey, cough for me. <laughs> of course not. He's got one really good but you said that's brand new. That's not like he'd been doing that or anything. Okay, okay. It's 101.1. And I couldn't really hear anything, and we're not seeing much in the way of discharge yet. I wonder if you did just get something caught in your throat. And Polly needs to work on your feet. Your toes are really long. Okay. Well, if we have another mare that has some sort of infection going through, they all might end up needing to be on antibiotics at some point, so let's watch him too. And she is a 34 year old. She's supposed to be 34. Mule. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, my. Yeah, that's cool. She says, Oh, no. I'm sorry. Didn't you hear me talking about you? Look at this. Can you see the sun going through her cornea here? Cool picture. Hi, I'm right here. Hello. Hi. Hello. See, I think this is a more recent thing for you because you're not used to the whole idea. Got some active processes happening in there, don't we? Is that your lens coming forward? <laughs> there he coughed again. Gosh darn it. I feel like I'm going to have to tube him, make sure there's nothing in his throat. Are you nuzzling me? You're not gonna bite me, are you? You're not gonna bite me, are you? Oh, you're not gonna bite me. That is her lens poking through. Poking through. Mm -hmm. And you kind of see like around her pupil, you see it's like oh, a yeah. bulge. I did see. So yeah, her, that's interesting. Usually it doesn't happen in these guys. Very cool. Usually is painful though, because it's going to disrupt all the flow of fluids and things with the, the eye. Hi, sweetheart. And so then they'll end up with glaucoma, which can be painful, obviously. I, I know. Guess what? That probably means you have to get that eye out too. No. That's more of a dog thing, like a Chihuahua thing, to have. She's got a lens luxie in that front chamber. So that's what you're actually looking at. So, hi, I know, you're nervous. So, yeah, you can actually see that whole lens is hanging out in there. Probably things just broke down with age. You know, I'm on your good side now. You know I'm here. And I'll come to your mouth last because Ray says you hate that. I didn't bother you too much, huh? She says just be careful on my bad eye side. What? Oh. Ninety-six point three. I thought her hawk looked a little thick, but I think it's just the light. 96.3. Did I startle you again? You want your ears, honey? Yeah, I was Hi, I'm right here, for Pete's sake. I didn't go invisible, and then I'd she come goes, back. She says you did for me. Yeah. 
So it makes me think this is a pretty recent thing. She hasn't really adapted to not having vision on this side yet. Yeah, as far as definitely needs some footwork. Her front left looks a little crooked there. Yeah. Hopefully you're good for Polly for that. As far as the eye goes, though, she could start to get really high pressure in that eye, and it'll get really red and painful, and then those eyes really have to come out. But if you, if you look closely at it in the sun, you can actually see it's a bubble in front of the pupil. So it's actually her lens has fallen out through the pupil. Oh, it looks like the oh, top of a jellyfish yeah. to me. That is very Isn't it kind of neat? Yeah. Doesn't so, it, though? Yeah, it does, but you can see like everything right now through I know. the sun. So the sun, yeah, really you can really get a good picture. view. But it, um, in her case, I mean, as they get older, all the fibers and things that hold the lens, everything is degenerating. And so maybe in her case, that's what happened. She could have had a little bit of an infection in there that kind of started things off and made them worse. And then, plop, it loses its, yeah, falls forward. So I haven't been able to touch it just yet. Oh. <laughs> but maybe if I try this side. Hi, sweetie. You said she doesn't like it? Not necessarily. I tried the look, but she was Yeah, can I rub it? I would if I, yeah. Your lips. yeah. Yeah, she really is, isn't she? Do you have anything left in there? She's you do. You have a few teeth. You've worn them down to nubbins. Hi. Hello. Just feels so weird when she would grab the grain off my hand. So I was like, huh. Maybe she's got a goofy tongue or something? Or you mean like, do her teeth rattle? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Oh. Yeah, you're old. We, we get it. We get it. You're old. That's not okay. Yep, that's all right. Well, she's real sensitive about that side. Just it's like I'm just stood on this side trying to. But um, but yeah, my big thing with her would be to watch the eye, and if it seems like she's not gaining weight, then we will get in her mouth and see what we can do about that. Okay. But you know, she's she's 34, and so we're just gonna keep her happy and comfortable, huh? Yeah. See, it doesn't even look like that eye is really big right now. If she'll let me touch it. Oh no. Okay, that's what I thought. You're you're not really interested. I don't like his cough any, like, yeah, all right. Next, then, I suppose. What are your thoughts? I, 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 I know I, Dave took a pick, too. Yeah, did he not like how he was completely, he's not square at all. Like, it's like one side closed before the other, and he's starting to get angular limb deformity going on, okay. which we already kind of know. He said that there was just a little bit of a start of arthritis. And there's some of that, too. There's some bony changes on it. But when you actually look at the way the joints are, it's like one side has closed and he's starting to elongate more on the other side. But pretty much most, most of his joint, like within those joints that I think are affected, those plates look like they're closed. And so I don't know what all we can do to adjust that angle, I guess is my thing. Ah. Talking about Rivers X-ray, she saw The only one that was open was not, and I'd have to, I'd actually have to pull up the X-ray and kind of show you the spots. Like the only places that look like they're open joints are not, or joint plates would be spots that aren't involved in where the angle is wrong. You know what I mean? So I think the damage that we knew happened because he was, I don't, it's been a while since we've looked at him. It was a couple of his legs, right? Mm -hmm. It was like at the knee was out and then he have a, did he have a fetlock out? Uh, yeah, I believe he so. Had the right leg was worse than the other one. Yeah, the yeah. front right was the real bad one though. Okay, yeah. He so was also saying, you know, there's a sign when of early arthritis. There is. Right. And she saw yeah. that too, but mm -hmm. then also that, you know, he's young, so their knees are knobby, so... They're, yeah, and they are, but there's certain growth plates that are the last to close, but the, the points at which I'm seeing where when you look straight on and like one side is shorter than the other and the other side's getting to, it's like then something damaged that and... You know, we talked about if we can do take him to an orthopedic guy where they can change that growth plate a little bit, mm -hmm. get one side to close, but he's already it's already off. You know what I mean? So, and those look like they're closed, and so once they're closed, you're kind of in trouble. So, I'd I'd like to see him again at some point. I don't think it's I think it's been quite well, some time since I've seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Then, you, know, you are to the barn, so he's, speaking yeah. of Nobby, did you get something wrapped around your pasterns? Yeah, the one that has all the discharge. Are you making everybody sick? Yeah, oh, yeah, look at your snotty she nose. She got shipped up from Texas, is what her Coggins say. So. Yeah. So All the way to the auction up here. This weather. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweetheart. She was just shaking the first day. Oh. Yeah, well, when, even when we were at the auction, it was dang near a blizzard. Oh, she's just dripping there. Oh, yeah. I have different clothes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I brought <laughs> I a different her. sweatshirt to take out. What's her name? Uh, Piccolo. Piccolo. Piccolo, I Three, like it. One. I love her. And how old is she? She's supposed to be 15. 15 year old. Yeah. Horse mare. 
She's cute, other than she's, she's snotty. Yeah, but it's just an eight, so nothing oh. too exciting. She's a what? what? She's branded with an eight on her. Oh, I thought you said she's pregnant. Oh, well, that I was gonna say possibly too. She's exposed <laughs> okay. to supposedly a blue roan stud. So. Okay, but pretty recently. But they didn't say when. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But so she's say. not crazy wide. So yeah, but we could check her once we get her through this and yep. then up into the, yeah, up into the socks. All right, Piccolo. I think you're cute. She is. But I'm gonna touch your snotty nose later. <laughs> We're gonna start back here. Yeah. Has she been coughing or doing anything yeah. like that? Okay. Oh, so all you guys might need a round of Uniprim. Hopefully you have enough. All right, let me just take your temperature, sweetheart. Can you vaccinate when they're sick or is it? I wouldn't. I was gonna say, there's like no. people that you're recommended to wait. It's recommended to wait. Yeah. It's just, it's just that pain going up. Yeah. Hey, 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 well, you just, well, Viola didn't allow a very um, good exam. <laughs> She's not feverish. 98, no, 98.5. No, kind of surprises me. But I mean, a lot of those upper respiratory ones, she unless. Ben started on the Uniprim, too. Oh, she is already yeah, on it. That's right. oh, okay, yeah, yeah. She did have a temp. Yes, she did. She did have a temp, so she's been on the Uniprim for two days. Usually with strangles, you do get a really high fever. And so. I've seen an awful lot of strep zo, and then I had a weird strep discolactiae on an upper rest too. So like, there's a lot of a lot of non-strangles upper respiratory streps mm -hmm. that'll cause this kind of shipping fever looking thing. Yeah, and you just, did ship a I long think way. Her lymph nodes were the most concerning part. Yeah, it's I not. Yeah, it's be. not. It's not horribly big though. Like usually strangles is bigger and a higher fever. Well, but we can. We'll swab her, but so we know but for sure. yeah, yeah, we'll definitely swab her, and then we'll probably start. Kazoo, I think, just to be safe, because mm -hmm. I've been listening. He's been coughing yes. even more, and I thought maybe he just had something in his throat because his lungs didn't sound bad yet. But we'll just be safe. Yeah. She's kind of doing like this, mm -hmm. this action. Hi, sweetie. Are you gonna be a good girl? Oh yeah. What did you do? She says that hurts too. Don't touch it. I'm sensitive. Well, what if I just pick it up and I don't touch the pastern just yet? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that was an injury because it's all the way around and usually a ring bone isn't going to make their fur look funny like right. that. Yeah. That's Another injury. And you have a... I can't wait for Polly to fix you here. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. That will help, but you could probably x-ray her at the same time to make sure this is not just, mm -hmm. you know, there's anything more than skin deep because she just feels... She is pretty thick. How are you about this foot? Ooh, she probably has a little knee arthritis. She does seem like she has decreased range of motion there. And then that you have that scar. Can you give me one more chance? Yay. Everybody's giving samples today. Do we want to do him and she's not going to go too far and then I'll come back and swab her? I have my swabs in the truck. Yeah, yeah that works. Did we notice the spot on her eye over here? Oh. Oh, that's right. I need to look in your front end. I was trying to avoid right. that till last. Yeah. <laughs> the X. Oh, yeah. You got a scar on your cornea. I'll grab my fluorescein stain, too, when I come back, but that looks more like an old scar. Okay. Let me see. Hold, hold on, on one right. second. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I was just going to look at it from the side. I know. Right? It looks like more of a chronic older scar, but I will stain it to see if it's active. So, oh, maybe I'll... I'm going to... Put my hands in your mouth when we go to swab you. Yeah. Banjo. 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 That seems like a perfect name for you. Mm -hmm. Hi. He's You're... supposed to be 14. I just said you were sweet. Gelding. Yeah, we're just going to have to let you adjust to being in here. I'll come back to your mouth, too. What are you doing? Both his front legs are pretty... I was like, what are you doing? That's really attractive. Why don't you step forward? Oh, oh he's got the suspensory ligament issues. Mm. He is really puffed up. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's take a listen, Banjo. Mm -hmm. It's funny, I have some continuing education about suspensory ligaments I was going to do tonight, so well, there, there we go. Because <laughs> I don't think in his case that'll be the. Uh, yeah, I think in his problem, usually it's funny because when they have these kind of collapsed, when they start doing that, it's their back feet, but yeah. he's, 
You're not made right, friend. Oh, wow. That is huge. He would be an extremely interesting ultrasound. I mean, we could still x-ray him and see what his bones are doing, because I think he's also, his angles aren't right. Like, I can, when I feel it goes in, yep, you can feel that it's not straight. And so maybe that's part of it, but this is so big, and it's not like it's, oh, yep, I know it's sore. It goes up the whole sheath up to here, that's crazy. But yeah, his, I think his angles are off and he's starting to get that DSLD where, you know, they start dropping. Hi. Oh, I love this sunshine, I really do. Can I feel it? I'm just being gentle. I don't think you want to stand on the other one very long, do you? Can I try? Good boy. Oh yeah, look at that angle. In and then. Hmm. Wow. When you take an x-ray of that, it is a pain. You can try a couple angles. It's like, see, watch his, you see from his front, his cannon bone is yeah. like this, would be a straight angle. But then from here, then it's here. It'd be straight for the fetlock and the pastern down. So he's probably some chronic issue with his angles is leading to these issues with his ligaments. And they're starting to break down, and so he's starting to drop in the pasterns. Something like that, you just keep them comfortable. We can x-ray it because it would probably be interesting and may or may not help Polly in how he decides to do a little bit of angle changing. But I wouldn't ride him. I would make him just a, a buddy. Hey. Open up, buddy. <laughs> Look at you and your blue eye over there. Oh, Kazoo is just making a ruckus outside. Found him in the Kazoo. I know. It might have been. Hi. Yeah, let's take it turns off. Okay, well, maybe I should swab kazoo too. Hi. Are you just gonna not let me do it? Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry. No, my nose is running just listening to you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Hey. No. Maybe I'll try this side. Some horses like the other side. Banjo. He's refusing to move his head, but. Banjo. Hey. Be cooperative you're for everything a, else. You're a naughty mouth boy. Yeah. He's like, guys, she said I was 14, right? Right. So just trust me. Good. Just okay. trust me. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I can't, I can't see anything there. But. Hey, how about if I just keep rubbing your head? Keep rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it. Oh, that was no. you. That was you. you. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> you. You're a naughty boy. Did we do that already? No. <laughs> that might have to be the safeguard pellets, right? Oh, he's letting me lift this side, but that doesn't help anybody, so. Unless she, unless she got a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Here, maybe if uh, I'll come around behind you, unless you can get a snap a picture over Ray's head. Yeah, he, I got just a very, very slight glimpse, and I didn't see a groove. Hi, 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 hi. I need to see the corner. Don't hit Ray's. I think you're older than they say, closer to 20. Those angles are really bad, though. So yeah. I think that's probably what started it. And then you've got all these chronic issues. An ultrasound to actually look at what's going on in that tendon would be somewhat helpful, but it's not going to make him turn into a writer or right, anything right. like that. So it's like, what's? There's no real point to that. How long can we keep him comfortable? Yep. And he seems like he's getting around okay. These animals have trouble with ice and stuff, and they don't always like to lay down because getting up is harder. And so just keep that in mind as well. Yeah. yeah. I know, it feels funky, doesn't it? Swab, 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 swab. I think we got enough out of that nostril. Yeah, we're just gonna use that nostril. Ugh, <laughs> snot. Good girl, that means we got good and deep, didn't we? This one's kazoo. This yeah, is kazoo? This is kazoo. <laughs> now he's starting to get snotty. Yeah. In the last 10 minutes. Yeah. That's right, you were the mayor with all the boogers. Plenty of boogers, sir. Plenty of boogers. You got your head out and everything. Hi, sweetheart. Right up in there. Oh, round and around. It's not as bad as a COVID test. Uh, oh. right <laughs> Just over there, please, sister. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to take a shower. Mm -hmm. All right, now you cough. <laughs> Gross. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. 
Oh my goodness. Aren't those cute? That's awesome. I hope that the R and the L show up. Oh, they are under there. Perfect. <laughs> does your hat light up? It does. I know. I, I had to take my other one off. It's, I, it blinks, let it snow. Noticing the little <laughs> lights on. I was like, you have a piece like, of I better take that one off because that thing sneezed all over our faces. I was yeah. like, wiping. Yeah. <laughs> it's like double sticky things too. Yeah. Yeah, so you have a lot of options. Yeah. But yeah, so just remember to keep that when you're taking a, a picture that it's always on the outside, right? On the outside, yeah. Okay. Yep. Obviously with a lateral, it doesn't make as much of a difference because there is no outside because you're taking it from the outside. Sure. So. Okay, so this is his right. And yep. This is also his right. By far the bigger one. I think I wrote on all of these because we were learning. <laughs> yeah, I think these were some of the first ones we had to And there was one, yeah. one, two. This is what... These are all his skull. When I looked at it, I feel like this is a fragment right here. Mm -hmm. because so this would be one that you could do some oblique views to try to figure out exactly where that's at because it kind of I think it's in here I can't exactly tell where it is but I think it's in here but this is where doing multiple so you have view this way you always have to have a view like this and like this but then to try to figure out exactly where that is you could do an oblique and then you could also do like we talked about if he's a good boy the flexed view mm-hmm because that would really open up these joint spaces. But yeah, there's a lot of changes to the front of his knee here. This is where I was talking about that this growth plate is open, but everything mm -hmm. else seemed like it was closed and this wasn't the one that had the angular issue. So there's his left. Mm -hmm. Skull DV, but yeah, changes yeah. even to the front here that shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. Changes here, you should have yeah. a smooth bone margin. Well, even like within this joint space, this is what arthritis does over time is it tries to bridge instabilities. So this is his good knee. Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Some of this is mud, by the way. So yeah. he's just doing yeah, it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you guys didn't know that. Can you do where you can view two at the same time? Okay. Now you're looking at the same side mm -hmm. of the leg at the same time. But so yeah, normally yes, that is the contour of the bone. But this is excessive. Okay. So this is his right, and and the other what I was saying is that I get picky. Is like I want the right one over here, and I want the left right. one. Well, yeah. it, it just it just makes sense. In but anyway, this is his right. This is the one that's all swollen, and there's changes on both sides of his knee. Mm -hmm. If you look at the contour of the bone here, and you look at it, oh yeah, here, this is an open growth plate. So that just this is one of the last ones to close, is my understanding anyway. Because he's, we thought he was only two now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, something a lot of broken off. But. There, yeah, and so you don't see, I can't really see a loose piece as much in this one, but in the lateral views, it actually did look like there was one. Mm -hmm. I wonder mm -hmm. if we can make this happen. So we, we, we drag it down, down to the next, yep. And so we got the right, and then if we check that and then click here, maybe we'll get it. Ah, this stupid hawk. <laughs> There. Okay, so there's the right and the left. And, and now I bet if you just swapped that. these, you could have the left over there. And... Probably. I'll just break it, probably. So there, <laughs> just leave it for now. I just have to be... Yeah, see, he did something to the front of that knee at one point. But then I, I just feel like this looks like a loose piece here, too. Yeah. That doesn't look just like dirt. This looks a little too much like there's something going on. And so that's where... Maybe doing some views in another angle would be helpful. Um, just look at like the joint spaces here that are more lined up. They're usually fairly parallel like that. And here things are kind of collapsed. We didn't get all of the carpus, mm -hmm. so we'd have to get that one a little bit lower. Hmm. So worse than yeah, I'm doing so. Yeah, this none of this should be like that. No, that definitely doesn't look right. Compared to the mm -hmm. good one. Yeah. At least what we're looking at in the changes up here, this is, you know, the end of the long bone versus like within the joint, but it's still there's something. This is just something seems like it's floating around to me. Mm -hmm. So try to take some different angles to see if you can get that more that it's on the outside. And the fun thing with obliques that you guys are going to find is you have to really keep in mind you're like, I'm going from dorsal, palmar, so like front to back, lateral, medial, like so keep the DLPMO in mind mm -hmm. so that you remember what angle you're going at and just think that you're trying to make this on the edge like it's a shadow. I'm trying to see its shadow. And so when you're doing your oblique and the leg is like this, just 
mm -hmm. think about which direction you're going so that we can figure out exactly where it's at. Especially with this knee, I'd like to see what it looks like opened up if you can bend it. Because here you can see some good joint spaces, but here I really don't see anything right here at all. It's like, is that, what's going on? Like, let's see if we can't open it up. And you see a lot of chip fractures off of the cuboidal bones and things like that when you open up the joint by bending it. Okay. And for his long-term prospects as a working horse, like, or actually riding and stuff, don't mm -hmm. really look that good here because he's so young. And then there was a different, I think it was a fetlock joint that things really looked, hey, cool, we got the left and the right where we want them. <laughs> <laughs> Just terrible picture. Yeah, yeah. That one's crooked. He is super, super muddy, too. <laughs> yeah. He's a dirty guy. Yeah. Now we know how to clean him off. Yeah. We've learned a lot since these pictures. We have. Yep. Mud shows up. Yeah. And in the hocks, like, you can see that these bones are pretty well parallel with each other, so that's not so bad. He's kind of lipped out, but that's on both sides. Yeah. So normally it's not quite that hooked. Hmm. Open growth plate here, too. And here. Okay, I was wondering what those were. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's okay. just growth plates because he's a young and another one of the later ones to close. But at least in his hocks, what you'll see in animals that have had joint injuries as a baby, these will be kind of crushed. And they, when on the lateral, I want to see them fairly parallel to each other that you can actually see that there's a joint space in there. And you might see like this is almost like squished down to nothing. And he does have some changes along the edges, but at least they're not collapsed. So you would see that like um, failure of passive transfer transfer fold that gets some um, infection in the joint. But yeah, watch your collimator that you get it far enough because I think a lot of that's just collimating. Let's see. I like doing side by side. But now we have the same. Well, it's the same, but you just did a different, well, another shot well, of it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. What else do we have? You got a whole bunch of him, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. And they all say skull. <laughs> they do. Weird looking head. That part we've we fixed. Yep. Oh, was that a, that was that one at the time? Could be. He's tied out there. Oh yeah, that was the other. <laughs> that was the thing that Cindy was really looking at. How goofy his. Yeah. Yeah. Out. That's what I was saying. Yeah, worried about too. It's not completely straight on because you can see his split bone is a little off to the side here. So you're, and this sesamoid bone is not centered. So it's kind of why it looks like. So it's, it's a down it's a middle. little bit goofy. But this is where I wondered when I was talking about some angular deformity. I couldn't remember if this was a leg that he was sort of out on. It's like did this one close before it was supposed to, and he's too long on this side. I don't think this is entirely just a trick of the angle. Oh. But we could try to take a straighter one, but. I think there is going to be some angular deformity in here right. and there. We're just looking at pictures. Um, but I want to take a look. Well, you could try it. So this is which leg? Left, Left. Front fetlock. Okay. But his right knee was the worst one. So Correct. Left front fetlock. And this is his right, right front right. fetlock. Okay. Try to take a, see if you can take a straighter one of this, but. Okay. Because some of that will just be a trick of the angle. Yeah, that was something I thought too when we started talking still, about angles. It's still not angle. right. Like it's just even if you got the angle wrong, like this joint goes like this. Is angle right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And you compare that to if you had the angle wrong, this joint is straight and this one goes up. Okay. So something is going to be angularly a problem there. I'm surprised he's not more sore though. So if I double click on this one, it'll do this one and then that one. Like this. It's easy to me. I pressed and listened for earlier. Yeah, I can I can listen again. I mean, her temperature was good. Yeah, she's, she's, okay. she's an angry mare in general. <laughs> she's a grump. She <laughs> is. Polly messaged last night. He's like, I kind of love her. I said, Taylor, Libby. Uh -huh. Polly did. Yeah. Yeah. Haley said absolutely not. Haley would be the one that's that has to work with her. And then okay. The um. Up. So I just can't remember exactly though. So he had the big old right knee. Yep. Didn't he have a back leg that didn't he have two back leg issues too? Yeah. He just wouldn't tolerate x rays too much of the back because we just got the hawks and that's. I think I, our biggest concern <coughs> were the front see. legs. Yeah, yeah, he is tied inside. Yeah, if you want to look at him. Yeah, let's take a peek at him because okay. I'll try to keep all this. You are a lot bigger. You were just a baby last time. Yeah. 
personally, okay, like way. this. Yeah. Yep. And if he's a good boy, where you think, I mean, you could stand. Yeah. He's like perfect. this. Yep. That would be just fine. Perfect. But then when you go to do the front to back, you're either gonna have to invert it like this, or so. Yours is a pretty heavy plate. So basically, kind of be able to leave the marker where it's at. And... You could, or you can move it. Like if she prefers to have the handle on a different side or something, okay. that's fine. So here you goes for your lateral. All right. I'll get out of your way. You're gonna be a good boy. Yeah, I don't want to poke you. I don't want you to move. <laughs> He's okay. It was okay. You're not putting a lot of... Here, I want him to come forward. You're not putting weight on it like you should. Come here. Stand like a normal kid. Hey. There. Clean. Yeah, straight and square <laughs> like you want to be a normal horse. Yeah. All right, and you got your call meter open all the way. Yes. So you could back up maybe a little bit and get more beam in him. Perfect. Okay, so there's his right. So let's see if he'll let us do a flexed. Good boy. Look at all the fuzziness. And I was brushing all the dirt off of him before we started. So we're not completely like lateral on him, but I think we're okay. God, it's weird looking. All right, let's do the DV. Please work. Okay. Yeah, he just took a bite out of that. Okay. Most of his swelling is on that inside there. I just really want to figure out where that, did we see it in this view? That little piece, that little floaty thing right there? It's still there. Is it in this one? Why do I have all these options? Do I have to? Yeah, I just gotta close that. Okay. I'm not trying to make. Hmm. He was standing very still for this one. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> huh. Which direction should we go for an oblique? Well, let's just try a DLPMO. Dorsal to the back or palmar dp and so if it's dorsal lateral it means we're dorsal and then we're lateral palmaro medial so this is so the plate's going to be like this mm -hmm. does that make sense kind of we'll try it. okay <laughs> you can come on this side though ray what you can come on this side oh, okay and so you still want to make sure that this is more to the outside yep. in which it is and so your plate hi dude is going to be like this and it's going to be an angle like this okay. so which we might even yeah, you can come in here and I can kind of help angle you a little bit Ugh. since you're plated up. Yeah. Or, or suited up. Suited up, yeah. Hi, friend. Okay, let's go a little bit more angled like this. And then Cindy is perfect. Nana. Right here. Let's do that if he holds still. It only takes 10 years to do it. Where's my marker? Right Must there, I think. <laughs> I hope so. Because that's with these ones, that's when you really start right, getting like... really quite confused. But now look at the angle that we did. Look at how disgusting the edge of this bone is. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to put an R on here just because the marker I is think that, Yeah, I think it was over there, wasn't it? So then you just think about the angle that we're doing. If that's the lateral, this is like that really hazy crap is, is right here where, where all the swelling is. And so that's the damage to the distal of the bone there. Yuck. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And we can, and then you can do it from the other angle too to try to isolate the other surface. What have you got in your mouth? That's I just, classifier. well, just don't swallow it. How much is in there? Okay, just that much. So then the other one Dorsal, your dorsal still, but your medial. So D M P L O. Does that make sense? Yep, it does. Yeah. So, you'll be like so you can take it from this direction, and then have the plate here. Okay. Because I'm just, I'm still wondering where that little chip is. Okay. Hey, hello. Oh, buddy. Did somebody eat your hat? <laughs> His other knee might be in the way. So we can, you can, you can go forward a little bit, it would be fine. I'll just change the angle a little like this, that's fine. Sometimes you gotta just move a leg. 
Come on. It's not going to be in it. Oh, I just realized that. Well, we can. Yeah, so depending on how close we are, easier to. Move. Yeah, you can just yep yeah, stick the marker a little closer. It's just fine. Oftentimes, though, you can still see it somewhere towards the edge. These ones just don't there. Really come off and you stick. Hi. Oh, is that it? That what you're looking at? I'm wondering if that is, but it's bigger than. It's huge <laughs> compared to what it was. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where the right is. <laughs> but then you see how in this view you don't see all that gnarliness. Like when we were isolating it over here. So cool set of x-rays and we could just do a quick um, recheck on the other side and I gotta think about this guy a little bit and what we could maybe do about that. But like I said before at least it's not like collapsing or anything like that there's just a lot of bony changes. Mm -hmm. So let's maybe just do the DP and the lateral on his left. And if you guys want to play with obliques, we absolutely can. <laughs> right yep. there, I think. Right there's good. Yeah. River. Hey. Don't take my ponytail or my cool hat. All right. Not Down a little. He was going for it, too. Okay. The ball on my hat. Uh -huh. I could make it light up. So, yeah, I don't see the same thing. <laughs> this isn't anything. Yeah, it's a little, I don't a little blurry. I don't think so. Yeah, it is a little blurry. He kind of moved a little. I wonder, like you just shouldn't have, hello, go hey, away. quit. Maybe a nate? Two. Okay. Hey, look at that. Yeah, it's just, that's not supposed to be there then. Maybe that's that piece. This looks more like rounded. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like abruptly. Yeah. I think the angles we've got here are fairly similar. I mean, there are obviously a lot more weird changes in his right. These are neat. He is a mouthy little bugger, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, that's all slobbery. I felt like that was just something being superimposed. But this is, there's definitely something going on here then. Okay. You can just do your regular DP and your lats, and then I gotta think about that, and you're gonna send me these.